Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem, count number of nice subarrays. So given an array like this, we want to count every single subarray that has exactly k odd elements. So for example, this subarray has three occurrences of the value one. One is an odd number, two is not an odd number. Therefore, this subarray has three odd numbers. It counts. This one does not count. It only has two odd numbers. So obviously brute force solution to this problem is gonna be n squared. There's n squared subarrays. For each one, we check if it has exactly k odd elements. The next improvement that you might think of is probably the sliding window. If you don't know what the sliding window is, I'd probably watch the video I made yesterday, or I think I have a bunch of videos on sliding windows, some easier ones. This one is not a trivial sliding window problem. That's why I'm kind of saying you should try to know the basics first. But for this problem, it's a variation. If you try the regular sliding window, let's see the problem that we're gonna run into. We get to this subarray, then we get to this subarray, we have three odd elements. Now, if the next value was a two, then we would look at this subarray and say, okay, we're still good, but it's not a two. The next value is a one. So with this subarray, we have four odd elements. We only wanted three. So now we have to take our left pointer and shift it until we only have three odd elements remaining. That only took us shifting a single time. And so now this is gonna count. This is the second subarray, and so the result is gonna be two. It works for the first example, but let me show you an example where it doesn't work. All I'm gonna do is add a two value to the beginning. So now I can count one, two, three subarrays, but I'm pretty sure our solution with two pointers, two pointer sliding window solution is only gonna find two of them. Watch this. First we check this, then we check this, then we check this. Still, we don't have three odd elements. We keep expanding until we get to here. Three odd elements. Okay, so now start shifting the left pointer, right? Until we don't have three anymore. Shift it here and then shift it over here. Now this is our window. And then we'll end up counting this one as well. Do you see the one that we missed? We missed the one that doesn't include this number. There could be some preceding values that are not odd, right? So in that case, we'd wanna count this as a subarray and this as a subarray. And it could be that there's actually multiple twos. In this case, we'd want to count this subarray, this subarray, and this subarray. Because even though we have the three odd elements, we could have some preceding elements that aren't odd. Therefore, we could stop the subarray here, we could stop the subarray here or here, it doesn't matter. So whatever this distance kind of is, like the distance from here to here, plus one, because like this is a two, plus one, that would give us the three subarrays. Now, there's one last little thing. What if I change the value over here into a two? So now, when we get the entire subarray, it's actually valid, right? There's only three odd elements. So this is valid. So what's the result going to be for this problem? It's actually going to be six. Want me to show you how? Well, these three that we already counted, and then the same thing except ending at this spot. So the entire thing and then ending or starting over here and then starting over here and then ending all the way here. So these six subarrays, if I remove this, then we run out of ones. If I remove this, well, we already created those subarrays. So in order for us to implement a solution like this, we need to do an advanced jutsu, the forbidden three-pointer sliding window technique. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I think the hardest thing about this problem is figuring out the best name for the pointers. I'm gonna go with the convention of having a left pointer, a middle pointer, and a right pointer, but you could have this like be something like left near, left far. I think that is the convention I used for a previous problem where we did the three-pointer sliding window technique. That was actually leak code 992. If you wanna check that out, I have a video for that. I'm gonna use this convention, left, middle, and right, but it's subjective. You can name it something different if you want to. The idea is this, we're gonna start with a left pointer here and a middle pointer at the same position. We're gonna have a right pointer and it's gonna keep going through. So let's say eventually we get to here, right? We have two odd elements. We go one further 
now we have three odd elements. So how we're gonna update our result now is first by seeing that we have the amount of odd elements we want, so we increment the result, but we're not just gonna increment it by one. Now's the part where we actually use the third pointer. We're gonna actually take this pointer and increment it until we reach the first odd element belonging to this subarray because that's going to help us out a lot. Now we're going to have the middle pointer be over here. Now you see why I'm calling it the middle pointer. But this distance that I talked about earlier is very important. This is the distance from the beginning of the subarray to the first odd element. It tells us we can have a subarray that starts here or starts here or starts here and it still can end at this pointer. So to our result, we're actually gonna be adding middle minus left plus one, right? Because this tells us there's three subarrays. So if you take this, it's two, this is zero. You get two minus zero plus one, we get three. So now our result is three, that's great. Now we're gonna take our right pointer and shift it again. It's gonna be over here now. Now we have too many. Now we have four odd elements. So what do we do? Well, I think you could probably pick either of these pointers, but just to kind of be consistent, I'll stick with the left pointer. We're gonna take our left pointer and keep shifting it until we only have three odd elements in the array. So we remove that. I'll use red, I'll remove this and remove that. And then finally we end up here, our left pointer is here. We only have uh, three odd elements, that's okay. And then we're gonna move the middle element here again. There's no point in having the middle element you know, outside of the current window. So we just reset it back to the left element. Now here, we just have one subarray. So we'd probably update the result to be four. And then we'd kind of stop there because if we try to shift the left pointer, we can't really shift it anymore. So yeah. Now, if you're wondering why didn't we get six for this one, it's because remember I changed this one to a two. So I'll just kind of run through that. Like imagine if this was a two instead of one, we'd get something like this. Right pointer is over here. Our middle pointer, I believe was over here. And so we still only have three odd elements in the subarray, like this entire thing. So once again, we're gonna update the result. We're not gonna add one to it. We're gonna add the same distance that we calculated earlier. And we this time we don't even have to shift the middle pointer because it's already at an odd element. So we don't need to shift it. We already did that earlier. Therefore, we just add three to the result. It's gonna be six. And that kind of also shows you why this solution, even though we have three pointers now instead of two, it's still gonna be a linear time solution and it's gonna be a constant space solution as well. Let's code it up. So I'm gonna initialize the result to be zero and then I'm gonna have a variable telling us how many odd numbers we have in the current window. And lastly, I'm gonna declare the pointers, left, middle, and for right, I'm just gonna do that in the loop itself. So going through every element in the input. And we're gonna start with the easy stuff. If the number at this index is odd, we know that like this, we're gonna go ahead and increment odd, pretty easy. Now there's another case where if odd is exactly equal to K, but we're actually gonna handle that one after we handle the other case, because we don't want to have an invalid window. So let's check that first before we check if it's valid, because we're gonna fix that up here. If odd is greater than K, if it's less than K, that's fine. If it's equal to K, we're gonna execute this part. But if it's greater than K, let's try to fix that. We're gonna increment the left pointer and we're gonna set the middle pointer to the left pointer. We could you know, maybe rewrite this a different way, but I'm not gonna get caught up on that. Instead, I want to remind you that if we're shrinking the window, we should undo the work that we did up here. So basically, if the left element is odd, let's go ahead and decrement odd by one. We're removing that element from the window. Okay, now here in the if statement, remember this is what I said we're gonna be adding to the result. We're gonna be adding m minus left plus one, but we have to potentially update the middle pointer before we can do that. So we want to shift the middle pointer until it's pointing at the first odd element in the subarray. Then we can calculate this distance. So basically while that number is not odd, so while not modding this by two, then let's just increment the left pointer. And then at the end, all we gotta do is return the result. I know this probably seems really easy if you're looking at it, but 
That doesn't necessarily mean it's easy to come up with. If you look here on the left, you can see it works, it's efficient, but also I wanna show you my submission history. You can see that part of the reason I was able to solve this so quickly is because I actually solved it five years ago. And it does look like I one tapped it, but still I might've looked at the solution or something. I think the solution I came up with, it looks like the variable names are different, but this is a very similar solution. So yeah, practice goes a long way. If you're preparing for interviews, check out neatcode.io. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.